What's up guys, Patrick Wolf here, welcome to a very special build video. Today's build video is going to be, in my opinion, the best bighorn build that you can make in the game right now. TU10 has dropped today and I've already got all the pieces ready. I've gotten the chess piece talent which is very important for this build. Let's just get straight into this. So we're going to be using the new headhunter chess piece talent and the bighorn assault rifle. Now this gun has been buffed significantly. You get it by doing legendary missions. I recommend if you haven't got it to go and farm it right now. So let's go over it quickly. So the big horn, I've got a pretty nice one. It rolls crit hit damage as your tribute, which means not only do we want to spec into headshot damage because headhunter requires it, but we want to go into crit damage as well. Big game hunter, when scoped switches to semi-automatic fire mode, dealing 450% weapon damage with each shot. Headshots grant plus 2% headshot damage. This used to be one in the PTS and it's now two, it's doubled. So it's unbelievably strong. This wasn't even existent when the, uh, the live game uh, didn't have the, obviously these new changes. There was no uh, increase in damage, which is great. We also have a new scope, which gives us 30% headshot damage. So stacks up to 50 times. So you'll see when you're firing the weapon, there will be a counter next to it. It goes up to 50 and, and it uh, eats up a shot. So it goes back to zero after that. It doesn't stack, it keeps stacking. So just keep that in mind. I will show you a demonstration very soon. You can hit 11 million a shot with this gun. Uh, with the selector fire with the fully automatic mode with headhunter you can hit 1.3 million a shot with your uh obviously it, it takes away the stack but you can just destroy npcs instantly with this build so make sure you get this weapon it's amazing let's go over the mods this has been included now 30 percent headshot damage which is amazing we've got 10 percent stability 10% accuracy and then 10% reload speed. I would recommend rolling weapon handling if you can on this build. Uh, but remember, we need a certain uh, spec. So let's go over uh, what specialization we're going to be using. I'm not going to focus too much on this. I You don't have to use firewall. I just enjoy the firewall because of the shield. It gives me extra damage when close to enemies. That's why I generally like to use it. And putting enemies on fire when they break your armor is quite handy. So just keep that in mind. You can use uh, whatever you want. It, it, there's certain things that make this gear set so strong. So the armor kit used to be, sorry, the specialization, it used to be extremely exceptional because you could stack incoming repairs. That is no longer a thing. So this is not by no means the best specialization. You can spec into whatever you want, depending on what build you want to use. Remember, uh, if you use the typical one for headshot, the sharpshooter, uh, this would probably be the, the other best option because you do get extra weapon handling, increased weapon stability, which is re recoil. This would probably be the better option for uh, players on console or if you not struggle with uh, aiming or things like that. Uh, but remember this headshot damage only uh, works with rifles and marks and rifles. So it doesn't actually work with an assault rifle, which is what the big horn is. So once you've unlocked whichever specialization you want, make sure you've got assault rifle damage activated. Let's go over this build. If you want something that does massive damage and the best way to utilize this weapon, this is going to be it for you. Full DPS, headshot damage, and crit hit damage with as much crit chance as we possibly can fit in there. So, secondary, use whatever you want. Doesn't matter. We're going to be primarily focusing on this. So, we're going to be using three-piece Providence Defense. The reason being is because we're not sacrificing uh, any kind of special weapon damage. Like, for example, you could use another gear set like Punch Drunk for headshot damage, but... It's better to go for Providence because you're just going to be getting pistol damage, which we are not really interested in. This will be best if we're using a pistol. So we get that headshot damage, 10% crit chance, and critical hit damage. This build, it's important. Now, don't be fooled. Do not just spec into headshot damage. You need to be able to crit to fully utilize this weapon. Now, you need to get... I'll show you in a second the chest piece. It's important. You need over 150% headshot damage. That's up to you to gauge. I have got crit damage and crit chance. You could remove this and put headshot damage if you don't meet that 150% requirement from the headhunter talent. So go for whatever you want. But the ideal uh, build is headshot damage and crit hit damage with as much crit chance as you possibly can. I would say no less than 50 because you want to still be critting. Because this gun is not just a... A selective fire weapon from range it's also an assault rifle which means you want to get as much crit as possible that's why i think i have found the perfect balance so headshot damage on all the mods don't forget that i've got over nine percent on all my mods every single mod put headshot damage is a great way of, of getting it the chest piece fenris beautiful we want that extra assault rifle damage uh, crit chance headshot damage that's very nice and headshot damage on the uh, mod 
This is the special talent that gives us so much damage. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 125% of that killing blow's damage. Damage is capped to 800% of your weapon damage. This is raised to 1,250% if your headshot damage is greater than 150%. And if we look at our stats, we are hitting 156%, which is perfect. But the great part of this is we've got 57 crit chance with 115 crit damage. It's great all across the board, and I think this is the best way to utilize this weapon. If you wanted to go all in headshot damage, I would rather use a marksman rifle, to be frank, with the Mantis. So that's why we've gone for both, because I like to use the assault rifle, uh, normal burst firing mode, you know, obviously the automatic mode. I enjoy using that as well. Providence, again, crit chance, crit damage. You can go for headshot damage if you don't meet the requirements. It's completely up to your build and what pieces you have. Another problem is now we're using Vigilance because it's probably the best way to get damage. Uh, you don't have to use this, but you'll be lacking in the damage department if you don't actually use this. So make sure you put the Providence. Then I have got Cheska. Now you can use other ways of getting maybe even additional headshot damage, but it's important you get your crit chance high. Trust me, you want to be critting. Uh, but if you are solely just going to use the Bighorn for selective fire, only headshots, uh, you actually just want to go for headshot damage. Don't worry too much about crit, but for... To be honest, I use it for both. I think that's where the Bighorn shines because you should rather use an M1A or a Marksman Rifle. The fact that you can use a fully automatic mode makes running crit and crit damage very, very good in my opinion and it works great. So crit headshot damage, crit chance, we're all gold in there. And on the knee pads, we've gone for Grupo for extra critical hit damage, which is amazing. Uh, crit chance and headshot damage there. Now, there are other ways in which you could potentially get headshot damage from this game. Uh, I can quickly give you guys a... A showcase and we can see what other ways there are of attain, obtaining more headshot damage. So now if you wanted to go for full maxed out headshot damage only utilizing the selector fire. Now this is where it gets important. All my build videos I tell you guys don't just copy me okay. I am running a Grupo and a Seska because I want my max like very close to max crit chance and crit damage. Like I said to be able to do as much damage as I can with the automatic mode. Now, if you really wanted to spec only into headshots to use the selector fire, I would recommend using Aroldi Holdings. Uh, you can get the two piece, which gives you 15% headshot damage, but in my eyes, it's not really worth it. You could potentially hit bigger numbers with your headshots, but then again, your automatic mode will not be critting and you will be lacking in that department. Gloves are oldie, new pads are oldie. Like I said, that would be the perfect if you were just going to go for headshots with the uh, selector fire. But like I said before, it is my opinion and I feel like this is the best possible way to run this. Reviver Hive and the Firewall Shield with all health mods gives us an extra uh, shield which really, really helps us. It, it, it's a, Actually, I need to change that. There we go. It's really, really nice. Uh, the problem is the skill tier is obviously zero, but it, it helps, especially when doing difficult content in the game. This is more spec towards PvE, but you can use it in PvP if you want. Let's go over all the stats. So the big horn right here, 57 crit chance, 115 hit damage. We have we have achieved that 150% headshot damage, which we need for Headhunter, which is amazing. We're going to go down. We don't have any weapon handling. If you're on console, I recommend specking. Maybe instead of crit damage, go for weapon handling. It's worth your while to get about 20%. This gun isn't the easiest to handle with automatic mode. So make sure you go and you test it for yourself. But yeah, uh, that's going to be probably it for the build. Uh, remember, you are just a DPS player, and to be honest, guys, if I was going to go all into headshot damage, like I was saying, I'd rather use something like the Mantis. So I feel like this is the perfect way to utilize the Bighorn. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you want to try something new. Remember, my builds are templates for you to work upon and adjust them to suit your own playstyle. With that being said, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing everybody in the next video. Peace out, agents.